I used to have pain every single day from interstitial cystitis, but I'm now 95% free. Here's how I did it. I investigated and identified my triggers. Okay, long story short, I've had IC my entire life and it got really bad when I was going into college and then really struggled throughout my early 20s because there was a lot going on in terms of stress, food, alcohol, um, wearing clothes that were too tight, uh, different things like that that really weren't helping my symptoms. When my doctor told me to do the IC diet, I said, I'm not doing that. And pelvic floor physical therapy in my mind was not it. But there came a day where I hit rock bottom and I had to come to terms with the treatment options that I was doing, the invasive procedures like hydrodistension, installations, Botox, those things were not helping me and they were honestly making things worse. The things that I skipped over, so the diet, the stress management, the pelvic floor PT, once I started to change my mindset about those and give them a chance and actually commit to them, that's when I started seeing changes in my symptoms. Now I'm an interstitial cystitis dietitian and I've helped over 100 IC warriors minimize their symptoms and now I'm going to help you. So here's what you need to do. You need to start paying attention to things in your life that you may not have thought could cause your symptoms before. So things like stress, things like what you're eating, what you're drinking, any sort of allergies that you may have. Is your skin sensitive? Um, are you wearing tight clothes? Are you having an increase in your symptoms after you go to the gym? These are the things that we want to pay attention to, okay? Are you having a flare at the same time every single month? That could be a hormone issue. So once you can identify what those triggers are, you most likely have multiple, but some people have one, that's when you identify those, you remove those from your life, or you find a solution. Um, maybe it's hormone replacement therapy, or maybe it is... Um, I don't know, not having sex at a certain time of the month. Maybe it's avoiding two or three different food triggers. But to see results, you need to first identify what those things are, and then you can move forward and you will have relief. If you want help on your journey to investigating your triggers and getting relief in just three months, apply to work with me in my Road to Remission program now. This is the program that has helped nine people reach remission, and it has helped 60% of my clients pass a three-month mark, either reach remission or be very close to remission.